Hi guys, so in today's video, um, the first thing I want to mention is I have a new microphone, so if the sound quality is a little bit off in this video, it's because I'm getting used to the microphone and like changing the settings and things, but fingers crossed the sound is going to be okay in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, second thing, my hair colour is slightly different. If you want to see how I got this colour hair, then head over to my vlog channel because I did like vlog the process and stuff. I did want it to be a bit darker grey, but you'll see you'll see what happened in the vlog. And then the third thing I want to say is that I'm really sorry that I didn't upload a video on Wednesday. If you guys follow me on Twitter or you follow me on Snapchat, then you will know why. Um, I was just like, I've just been having a bit of a like stressful time and I've been really busy recently. Um, and so yeah, I didn't manage to get a video done for Wednesday. And then I know that today's video isn't particularly um, like it's not a it's not me like testing out um, any like full face of makeup or anything like it's not any kind of makeup tutorial um, it is another kind of like Christmas unboxing type video um, but I promise you not all of my videos are gonna be like this I'm just filming this today because I really don't have an, like that much time to film because I'm going to Denmark tomorrow um, and by the time you're watching this I will actually be in Denmark but anyway in this video I thought I would unbox the Makeup Revolution Retro Lux Vault and this is is probably my favourite Christmas gift set of theirs because they have so many um, and I'm not going to talk about all of them on my channel I thought I'd just pick like my favourite one and just to clear everything up yes I do work for Makeup Revolution and I post videos on their channel but they don't sponsor my channel in any way they don't pay me to make videos about their products on my own channel like my job with them is literally just to create content for their channel they don't even know I'm making this video I just decided to do it because I thought that you guys might be interested finally if anybody's interested my lashes are the iconic London flirty lashes. This little bad boy right here, it does come in a rose gold sleeve thing um, and then it's got like the pictures of the different colours that you get on the back although they're not particularly accurate um, and it says it contains 10 lip kits worth £60 of Makeup Revolution Essentials and this at the moment, um, they did have it on Superdrug but I think it went out of stock but they might have it in some Superdrug stores, I'm not sure but they have this in stock on Tan Beauty's website. It was originally £50 so you'd be saving £10 but now it's been reduced to £30 so you get get 10 lip kits for 30 pounds which works out at three pounds per lip kit so which magnetically opens like this and then you have a little picture of the different like lip kits that you get in here and then it says on here be as bold as your lip color inspirational and then oh and then it opens up and it has two drawers a lot of you guys asked me to unbox the makeup revolution advent calendar but um there is a youtuber called el toria who has pretty much unboxed every single beauty advent calendar so um i'm not going to unbox that one on my channel but yeah head over to her video because she unboxes it on her channel um i am going to be unboxing soon probably the 12 days of christmas makeup revolution thing. I'm going to go through the first drawer first because these are all of the matte lip kits. So you get five different matte shades um, and this is what they look like. The thing about Makeup Revolution lip kits is that the colour on the box doesn't really look like the actual colour on the inside of the liquid lipstick. I don't know if they've changed the packaging or anything but yeah. That was something that I like realised when I opened up some of these before. So hopefully like me showing you swatches will help you guys out. And um, these are sold separately as well, so if you do want to get like just one specific colour then they are sold separately. I did test out ages ago on my channel just before I started working for them, um, their like original lip kits that they came out with. But those ones were like quite sticky and since then they've changed the formula so I believe these are the new formula ones. So in each of the lip kits you get a lip liner and you get a liquid lipstick. So this one here is the shade Echelon or Echelon, Echelon, Echelon. Not too sure how you pronounce that. But yeah, like I said, um, this is the colour on the box. And then this is... Actually, that's kind of kind of similar. They don't have any kind of smell. So this is the shade Echelon. That is that one right here. I will do a close-up after I've swatched like all five of these in a second. Then the lip liner for Echelon looks like this. We then have the shade Grandy. And from the box, this looks like it's going to be a pink. Okay, so yeah, this is a pink colour. That's what the box looks like compared to the actual liquid lipstick. This is definitely not a colour that I would go for because I don't really like pink lipsticks on me. And I feel like they make my teeth look really yellow. But if you do like a baby pink, then that is a true baby pink. And again, the lip liner is pretty much the exact same colour as the lip kit. We then have got the shade Noble. And judging by the box, this looks like a nude brown colour. I do have the original formula of this, but I'm not sure if the new one has got like a slightly different shade. 
So this is the box and then that is the actual liquid lipstick. And again, the lip liner is pretty much the exact same color. The next shade is called Duchess. And I don't know if this is a new shade or if this is a limited edition shade for this um, like collection, but I haven't heard of this one before. This is the box compared to the actual lipstick. So this looks like a ready uh, pink sort of nude. This one is more of a dark pink, whereas this one is a baby pink. That's more of a dark pink. The lip liner for this one is a tiny little bit darker. Then the final lip kit along the top row is called Highness. And again, I don't think I have seen this shade before. It looks kind of similar to Noble. It's just a brown kind of nude. It literally looks the same, but it's just got a tiny hint, like more of brown. Whereas Noble is like a tiny bit more of a brownie pink shade, but they're pretty similar. So this one is Echelon. We then have Grandy in the middle top row. And then the third one along is called Noble. And then the bottom two are Duchess, which is this one here. And then the one next to that is Highness. So those are what the different shades look like. As you can see, the top row have dried down completely matte now. They do dry down matte. The bottom two are still drying. Okay, so that is the top row complete. I'm just going to put that away. Then the bottom row of this has got two gloss kits. And then the three in the middle are uh, the metallic ones. And I do have the three metallic shades already. So at some point, I'm going to be giving away these three in the middle. Just because I have them already. I've opened them already. So these three in the middle are like brand new ones that I'm not going to swatch. Well, I'm going to swatch the ones that I already have. But yeah, at some point, I'm going to be giving away these three lipsticks. So I definitely suggest following my Twitter because I'm doing giveaways on there quite a lot at the moment. I'm going to do the two gloss kits first just because I'd rather do it in that order. So the two gloss kits are called Honor and Original. And I think these are from their original collection. But again, I've never tried these shades my favorite um liquid lipstick like lip kit from makeup revolution is their gloss kit in the shade opulence which i've worn in quite a few videos recently um ooh, oh my god this one looks so nice this one is called honor and it looks gorgeous this is like right up my street i don't even know what i'm gonna do with all these lip liners that i've opened them because i don't really wear lip liner and I've literally just swatched them once. <laughs> so this shade Honor is like a brown with a slight hint of pink in it. It's a really pretty color. Um, and I think this on deeper skin tones would make a gorgeous nude. We then have Original, which looks like this. Um, the box definitely looks a lot more peachy pink, whereas this one is actually just like quite a pale nude. Okay, so this one is a pale peach kind of nude color. I think on me it will probably wash me out a little bit, but I'm actually going to try it on just because I really want to put something on my lips and I completely forgot that I had no lipstick on. It's not really the most flattering shade on my skin tone, but then neither is this hoodie that I'm wearing, so. <laughs> I have to say, I do really like the formula of Makeup Revolution lip glosses, like, they're very comfortable to wear. Okay, so these three shades that you get in the middle are called Empress, Regent, and In Waiting. My box for Regent from their original, um, like, individual lip kits that they've released looks very different. So my box for Regent is, like, a bright red, but then this one is, like, a burgundy red, so... I'm kind of confused. Yeah, this is the same colour. I don't get why... Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of more true to the box. I'm going to get into swatching these. The first one is called Empress. This one is a gold. But I actually kind of like it. Like, it is actually a wearable gold. Can you see that there? You know what? I'm going to try on the gold just because I know that you guys will want to see what it looks like and if it actually is wearable. So, I'm going to try it on. Okay, so as you can see, on the lips, it's a lot less scary. Um, it just makes your lips look really plump and it doesn't come out quite as bright. It just looks like a shiny brown nude kind of colour and I actually do like this. I think for like the festive season, it's quite a fun colour and I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of like metallic liquid lipsticks. I don't really understand why they're such a huge trend, like anyone else. Um, but yeah, out of the metallic lip liquid lipsticks... This is one of the more like muted ones. We then have the shade called In Waiting and this one is a bright Barbie pink. But then again, like with this one as well, when you put it on your lips, it's much thinner formula. It doesn't come out like super hot pink. It just kind of looks like a shimmery pink gloss. So I don't mind it. It's not my favorite, but yeah, it's not as bold as it comes out in the tube. Like they are more sheer. And then the final shade is Regent and this is the bright red one. This is the most festive lipstick you will ever see. Look at this color. 
Those are what all of the shades look like. So we have the two gloss kits there and here. And this is the gold liquid lipstick, the pink one, and then the red. I feel really weird filming a Christmassy video with my autumn background. I think I'm gonna put up my Christmas background, like maybe the 25th of November or something, or like the 1st of December. To finish off the video, I'm gonna try on the shade Regent just because I is calling my name. It's such like, just, okay, watch. Obviously, if you put the lip liner underneath, it would be like a lot more intense red, but this is what the color looks like. I don't really wear red lipstick, but if there is a lipstick that like would sum up Christmas, I feel like it's this. The formula of these almost feel like a lip like oil. They're not, um, they're slightly less sticky than the lip glosses. They're just very like movable. Okay, so these are all of the swatches of all of the lipsticks that you get in this big heavy box. Overall, do I think this is worth the money? Yes. They're six pounds each normally and you get 10 in here for 30 pounds. I think it would make a really nice gift for somebody. If I got this as a gift for Christmas, I would be very happy. Um, so yeah, those are all of the swatches and there's my little kind of review of this Lip Vault collection. Jesus, I didn't realise the drawers pulled all the way out. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I want to try and like set some thumbs up goals for my videos because I feel like every YouTuber says at the beginning of their videos, let's try and get this video to 10,000 thumbs up. I've never done that before and I feel like I'm not a proper YouTuber and like, yeah. Also, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it so much if you would subscribe and yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.